Hey, okay, so some people were asking the other day about how to do the custom LUT file for Seto Corsa and a Seto Corsa Competition. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video tutorial to show you how to do that. It's really not very hard. And for me, it made a really big difference on how my force feedback feels in ACC. And I'm using a Logitech G27. I'm pretty sure you can go online and see it's supposed to work really well with all of the Logitech wheels. I'm not 100% sure on the Thrustmaster wheels, uh, maybe some of the lower end Fanatics, things like that. But really, I think it might work for um, for most wheels because what it what it does is it changes the way your wheel reacts to the force feedback inputs from the game. So the game sends out a signal to make your wheel react a certain amount, and your wheel has some level of accuracy on it being able to recreate the signal that it was given. And there's always going to be some error just because nothing's ever perfect. And the Logitech wheels in particular, I think, aren't particularly perfect <laughs> just because they're lower end wheels. But it's not a big deal. Uh, it can be adjusted somewhat, and that's what this uh, program will do. What we're going to do is run a test with the wheel using wheel check. And there's a link in the description to download wheel check from Race Department. Um, you'll run the application. It makes the wheel react um, to certain input forces it, and the program measures that and that's going to output a log file then we're going to use that log file to generate the new LUT file using the LUT generator program which the link for that is also in the description and then all we have to do is copy that file into the uh, configuration folders for either AC or ACC and I'll show you how to do that and you just need to edit uh, force feedback file too just to I indicate where or which LUT file you'd like to use. It's really not that hard. Let's get started. So I have already downloaded the the files, but I will go ahead and go ahead and show you that. So to get wheel check, again, links in the description, but just go to Race Department. And there's some instructions here too if you need some further guidance. But if you go here and your download link is up here, on the screen, but you've got to make sure that you are logged in, I think, to see this. If you don't have a race department account, you're going to need one. So I've already downloaded that and saved it just on my desktop. And we also need to go to this other race department page and grab the LUT generator. And again, it's the same thing. You need to make sure that you have, uh, that you're logged in so you can download the files. And then once you've got those, Wheel check is just a simple zip and you can extract this anywhere. I have already extracted that to my documents folder. And I think someone, the creator of this, it was originally for iRacing. But if we open wheel check, we're going to get this window. You can see up here that I have my Logitech G27 wheel selected. After that, you want to come down here to the max count box. And I think 50 will work. I usually go ahead and go up to 100. All that this is doing is it's getting more data from your wheel. Um, then to make the program run, so the, the program is a little bit cryptic in that it doesn't really show you what it's doing when it's doing it. It doesn't tell you when it's done. But all you have to do then is go up to the Spring Force box up here and come down and s select the Step Log 2 Linear Force Test. And as soon as you click this, the test is, is being run, so don't touch anything. And what it's going to do is it's very slowly um, adding force inputs to your wheel. And I'll show a video here in a second of the wheel reacting. But it takes a little bit of time for the, the forces to get to a level that's strong enough to make the wheel start to move. Um, that's going to run for, oh, probably about a minute, maybe 60 to 90 seconds. And it's just going to kind of click back and forth. You'll see the wheel will turn, um, turn left over and over like we're doing a NASCAR track. Okay, now after we've run the wheel check program, we next need to do the LUT generator. So we can just open the zip file, extract this folder, the LUT generator, wherever you want to put it. I've already put mine into my documents folder. So then open that and run the LUT generator exe. So now 
we're going to pick the CSV file that we just created with Wheel Checker. Now I have a couple of these that I've created recently and I'm going to use the one that I've used most recently. So I just open that file and it's going to automatically create the LUT. So I'll just come in here and type in, we'll do YouTube LUT. You can call this whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But we'll need to know the name of it in a minute because we're going to have to type it in. So we'll go ahead and save this. And again, it doesn't matter where you put it. So I'm going to put it in my documents folder. But you just need to know where you put it. Yeah, I forgot I created that earlier. So that's fine. So here's what happens. After you run the program, it shows you the corrections, basically. So the wheel check curve, I think... I think it's the red was the original one. So you can see at these low forces, nothing happened. And that's what happened in the wheel check uh, test. When we ran the test, we saw it took a while for the wheel to start moving. So all of those forces that were being sent to the wheel, the Logitech didn't even see. Like it wasn't able to recreate those. So to counter all of this dead space, the LUT generator program says, I'm going to amplify all these forces basically to counter it. So the idea is... The green is the perfect balance to create a nice linear response through the middle here. And so that's it. So that, that's the file has been created. So what we need to do now then to get this to work and affect a set of Corsa is we just need to go back into our documents. You can cut it if you want and paste, but I'm just going to copy it because I might want to use it in more than one. I'll show you that in a minute. But now we're already in our documents folder, and in your documents, it, you should have an Assetto Corsa file if you have a set of Corsa, and a set of Corsa Competition folder if you have that. So I'm going to open a set of Corsa Competition, then I'm going to go into config. You see all these files. The only one we care about is this fs postprocess.ini file. What we need to do is open it to edit it, and it's just a text file. So. I know when I double click on it, it already just defaults to opening up a notepad. If yours doesn't, you might need to right click on and do open with and select notepad or wordpad or something that any kind of text editor will work. It's a very simple file in here. Um, all we need to do is make sure that this enabled value is set to one and the gamma value should be at one, I believe by default. And I think there are ways you can go in and change this value if you want to change the behavior of your wheel. But that's a little bit more advanced. We're going to leave that alone value at 1. This is where we need to know the name of the file. So the file I just created was the YouTube LUT. So I can come in here and change this to YT LUT. Whatever you called it is what you need to put in here. Make sure you save this when, before you leave. So I'm going to click Save. And then we're out. Okay, so the other thing I didn't do now, and you need to make sure that you do, is you need to paste in the, YouTube, the LUT file that we just created so that this process can find it and that's it so you've now you're now giving uh, a different I guess you've changed the way a set of course of competition is going to output its force feedback it's going to be modified by this let file that we created to give you a more linear response to your force feedback you may need to go in and change your in-game force feedback settings because you're now your wheels gonna react different to how it was before but that's just a personal preference thing and it for me this really changed the way the wheel felt for me in a set of course of competition the default settings I just didn't like and didn't feel good. I was a really big fan of the force feedback settings in a set of Corsa, but I never really liked it in a set of Corsa Competition. And this is what has really made a big difference for me. Now, if you want to do the same thing to a set of Corsa, all you have to do is the exact same thing. So we're going to go into a set of Corsa folder. We'll go into, there's no config folder. Now it's CFG. So we open the CFG folder and in here is also the the same file, this uh, FS post process INI. Open it with your text editor. Make sure that it's enabled is equal to one. I think this is uh, what allows the game to use this these custom let files instead of the default ones. Again, value I think should be one. And then whatever you would like, uh, whatever you named your file is where you need to put that in here. Save it before you exit, and you should have custom force feedback uh, response for a set of courses as well. So try those out and see if it makes it better for you. For me, it was a game changer in a set of courses of competition. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to help. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward. I know it, it kind of sounded intimidating at first, but once you figure it out, it's really pretty easy. So uh, I hope that makes your ACC better because it surely helped mine. All right, thanks for watching.